So the beekeepers in the state really wanted to develop a lab that could have the correct and necessary infrastructure to address the needs that they have as beekeepers across the state. And so it was their brainchild then, the Florida State Beekeepers Association, to raise money for a new bee lab that you happen to be standing in at the moment. By the time all of this is done, it'll be about four and a half million dollars. So you can see of the 2.7 we were given originally, beekeepers have had to continue to raise money uh, over the last couple years, which beekeepers have come out of everywhere to support this. Beekeepers, uh, industry, uh, commercial guys, hobbyists, all, you know, it's just a, a whole range of beekeepers have supported this building, in addition to uh, private donors and things like that. So as we go into the lab, you know, a lot of this is technical stuff, so I won't bog you down in details, but there's a lot of, you know, peripheral rooms that support the purpose of the science that happens here. So my team and I really engage in about three research areas. The first of those research areas is honeybee husbandry. That is the science of figuring out how to keep bees better. So our bee disease and pest research goes in there. Our honeybee nutrition research goes in there. Our impacts of pesticides on bee research goes there. The, the, the research that's focused most specifically on helping beekeepers. The second category we do is integrated crop pollination working with figuring out how our bees can be better pollinators of Florida's crops. And the third area is honeybee ecology and conservation, where we're looking at wild populations of honeybees. To go into our research lab, which is there. This is that door I told you about. But this room has another particular feature. We have in here an observation hive room, and I'll take you in there to show you what that means in a moment. You can make glass beehives that you can watch bee behavior through the walls of the hives. And so you can actually set up a hive inside of a building, pipe their entrance through the wall, and bees can come and go with their functioning hive inside the building, but they can come and go through the wall and forage the same as if we put the hives out there. So the unique thing about this setup is bees cannot see red. So if you are observing bees under regular lights like this, their behavior changes. So this room here is red lit. Sure. So this is the observation of that room where we can plug beehives right into these ports. There'll be a functioning colony here that is maintaining a glass hive so we can watch the bees. The bees will be able to come and go through the entrances here so we can do whatever we want to to these bees and see how that treatment impacts bee behavior. We can only build what we have money to build and since money was coming in over time, essentially we put everything we absolutely needed into this building and saved everything we wanted for the subsequent buildings as we got more money to coming in. And again, beekeepers, the University of Florida, you know, they, they're just, this is a great example of a, of a state uh, public-private partnership in putting this together. It's really a great model for that.